we do a lot every day with wellness or weekly different activities but we thought we needed to implement that more in a more of a classroom environment when you engage students they have a different learning ability it's an action they're able to do hands-on learning there's leadership skills and, and i think if you empower them they have ownership in what they're trying to do here at Marino, that's, that's what we've done. You know, providing them that engaging factor. They come with ideas. We're not going to laugh at their ideas. And we look at their ideas in a, in a logical sense, and they're kind of a partnership. Allowing them to do that and allowing them to work on certain things like that has engaged them more and provides them an ownership in our school and really makes my life as a principal a lot easier. I came into the wellness program my freshman year. The staff and the students have really gotten closer together our students respect our staff more and our staff respects our students more. It was a really good way to bring everyone closer together. Well, we've done a lot over the last four years, but just in this year we took everybody on a hike, 7th through 12th grade to the Rocky Mountains. We had a couple competitions, the ABCs of physical activity, where we had 26 days. Each activity was named after a different letter of the alphabet. So that would get students just active in one way and we would came back to class more attentive and actually ready to work. Some of the activities that we've done is the greenhouse. We came up with a proposal and business letter that showed the benefits from, for the greenhouse. Our goal is to plant some produce and then move those to the school cafeteria and that will slowly you know, help with costs on foods and promote wellness in our school. We said we want to go on a hike, we got it done. We want to have a fit trail. Whenever we found that, we got it done. No matter what we wanted to do, no matter how crazy it seemed, they were willing to run with it. The fit trail is 20 stations, anywhere from stretching activities to a little bit more of a cardio workout. And that's what's amazing with the students is it was a fun activity and I never would have thought of it. Doing that, they are now part of a team. They're part of an ownership of the school and they want to be here every single day. What we've done is we call it an academic retention strategy. We're changing our schedule and adding an academic enrichment course where we're going to have our ICAPs, our career readiness courses, and then also it gives an opportunity for our students to mentor and work with other kids in, in, their, in their academic studies. So I think doing that and having that physical activity throughout the day in all our classes will benefit them all around. Our unified improvement plan is all about uh, health and wellness and integrating activities into the classroom because we believe that an active student makes for a better student. The process the students used for getting the policy put together is that they first of all did a lot of research on what had to go into the policy. We met, we discussed the, the different changes that we'd have to make. Uh, they went back and they crafted a draft policy. At that point kids came in, presented, and we voted unanimously to approve that policy. Three things I think that are important to kind of start this at any, any other school. Number one, you have to engage and empower students. That's, that's the biggest thing. And you have to have that trust. Step two is always providing the resources for them to know when they come to you, um, they're going to have ideas and those ideas will be supported by resources. And I think the third thing is, is just having that adult student partnership where they know they can talk to you and an everyday business. In order to start a youth wellness team, I think the best thing to do is to find a group of students who want to do it and then get out of their way.